Today we are going to show you how to upload your dissertation to ProQuest for Cal Poly Pomona dissertation students. First you're going to go to ETD Admin right here and then if you don't already have an account you're going to scroll on down click on sign up and get started today. Go ahead and follow all the instructions that it asks and then you should receive a confirmation email once you've signed up. You're going to want to click on that email and have it automatically redirect you back to ProQuest. Once you have signed in, you're going to then scroll down, create or continue with the submission. You will then scroll down and click on Start New Dissertation Thesis. Here on the left hand side, you will see the different steps we're going to go through. You're going to want to have a copy of your PDF open. You will end up wanting to copy the abstract over. Um, your advisor and committee member names, you're going to want to have those handy. Um, your student ID number, as well as your student email and a personal email, and your address. To start, click on Continue. Here, we're going to want to click on Traditional Publishing. We're going to want to click on Yes. and then save and continue. On this page, this is the traditional publishing agreement from ProQuest. You will want to scroll on down and click accept. Next, we're going to place it in Cal Poly Pomona's Institutional Repository, Bronco Scholar. So on this one, I want my work immediately available in my school's IR. You're going to want to click Yes and Open Access. And then click Save and Continue. This is the uh, license agreement for Cal Poly Pomona's Bronco Scholar. What you'll want to do is you're just going to want to scroll on down. You're going to want to click I have read and save and continue. Now for some of the information that you will need to insert. You're going to want to put your name in, last name, your institutional ID, your permanent email address, and your school email address. Next, you're going to want to put in your mailing address. And then you're going to want to click on Continue. Now you're ready to put in the title and the abstract of your paper. And the abstract, you'll want to go to your PDF. You're going to want to copy, highlight, copy, and paste. And now you're going to want to insert the year that you completed your dissertation, the year that you are graduating, you're getting a doctor of education from the education department, and then the primary subject category, which I'm going to put educational leadership. Now you're going to want to put some keywords.
Now you're going to want to put in your advisor and company member names. So start with your advisor. And then your committee member names. And when you're done, you're going to click Save and Continue. Now you're ready to upload your document. Click Upload File. Find where your document is and then upload it. Here we can see that I have my test document uploaded. Do you have any additional copyright permissions to submit with the document? No. Save and continue. Do you have any supplemental files that you wish to submit? If no, just scroll on down, save and continue. A note to the administrator is the person working for Bronco Scholar who will review your submission. If you'd like to leave them a note, you can. If not, that is fine. Go ahead and click save and continue. On this page, you're going to want to click no and do not no, do not file copyright. Save and continue. Now it's going to ask you about ordering copies. It is my understanding that your department deals with any physical copies, so you're just going to scroll on down and click decline, do not order. Now you can review all the information you've put in. If you need to make any changes, click on the proper section to click change, fix those, and then you return back to this page. If everything looks good as is, submit dissertation or thesis. And you're done. Congratulations.